Hi everybody. I want to talk to you about the use of vagus nerve stimulation for POTS or postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. POTS is a injury to your autonomic nervous system and basically it's kind of a combination of two injuries. Uh, most injuries to the autonomics uh, cause low blood pressure to your brain. So people stand there lightheaded, their headaches, they're tired, they're dizzy, they got brain fog. And then in addition to the low blood pressure, what happens in POTS is there's also an injury to how well your heart will compensate for the uh, low blood pressure. So normally your heart rate may go up to 90, 100, 110 when you just have low blood pressure. But when you have POTS, uh, your heart rate now may bounce up to 140, 150, 160. People feel like their heart's gonna burst out of their chest, okay? So it's kind of a combination of these two things that can come about from a injury to the autonomic nervous system. Now, these injuries, it doesn't mean you have to be knocked unconscious, okay? It's typically a multitude of injuries. Sometimes people, it's one significant one, but in many people, it's a multitude of things and maybe one last one kind of puts them over the edge. So it can be from physical things, from concussions to injuries that are don't qualify as a concussion, what we call sub-concussive injuries, which is like having a soccer ball will damage neurons in your brain, okay? Or hitting your head on the hatch of the car could do it. Uh, the other thing is a surge in inflammation, very common uh, part of uh, COVID long haulers, okay? But this inflammatory surges, that can happen after birth, you know, your pregnancy, um, surgery, fractures, other things like that can do it. And then uh, really very common ones are emotional traumas and uh, which the result in what we call a Takasubu event. So all of these things can give you injuries. Now, if your body has normal low levels of inflammatory stress, um, you just recover. Within a few weeks to a few months, you would be recovered. If your POTS symptoms don't go away and often they worsen because now people get additional injuries after that, um, that's because you have too much inflammation, all right? And uh, it's abnormal, you shouldn't have chronic inflammation, but it just prevents your natural brain repair and rejuvenation mechanism from working. How do we lower this? Well, there's a very, one of the things we use is a vagus nerve stimulator, okay? The vagus nerve carries the information from the parasympathetic branch of the autonomic nervous system, and this is one of the major conduits to regulate inflammation. And if you stimulate it in a certain way, you can increase your body's ability to lower inflammation. So this is a very nice study that uh, they used transauricular, so trans means transcutaneous through the skin, auricular means the ear, vagus nerve stimulation. And you can do that at the ear. And uh, when they did this, it very, uh, very impressive improvements in uh, the blood pressure and heart rate aspects of POTS, as well as reductions in inflammation in the bloodstream. And so very nice. Now, we don't do just that. We have combination because there's other sources often involved with this. And uh, one is we have to balance gut bacteria and uh, where you have excess bacteria in the small intestine. So we use Rifaximin to do that. Uh, we supplement with high DHA concentration fish oils omega-3 fish oil, so the omega-3 in fish oils, omega-3s are turned into these natural molecules we need to turn off inflammation. It's part of your natural off switch for inflammation, and we need more of that. And then we use olive oil to block the inflammation promoting aspects of linoleic acid in vegetable oils, and palmitic acid in uh, commercialized foods, and that will negate those. So we put this whole combination together so everybody's on fish oil, olive oil, rifaximin, and a vagal stimulator. And you recover. The vast majority of people recover very nicely. Uh, might take six, you know, 12 months. Just depends how, how bad you are and maybe some other aspects of your health. But it's, it's, it's a continual slow, just improve, 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 improve. And then once you get out to the end, most people don't need vagal stimulation. Most people don't need the rifaximin all the time. And... I, I counsel people, you probably want to continue on fish oil and olive oil because that's really just a problem with the food supply. And so supplementing with that is kind of necessary. And that's how we approach it. So if you're interested, 
uh, you can come on out to Arizona. We can help you out with that. I also want to mention, we talk a little about all of this. Uh, we have a new book. It's an image protocol for uh, ADD, POTS, PANDAS, uh, dyslexia, and emotional dysregulation. And uh, you, know, you can get that at nimichekprotocol.com. There should be a link here on the YouTube channel, as well as Amazon and the Apple Bookstore. So I uh, hope that's useful for you all. Everybody, have a great day.